the things people say black women don't raise their sons properly my question is why is the discussion about whether or not black women raise their children correctly and the answer that I have is the discussion is about black women raising their children correctly because that's who's raising the children predominantly in black um, families I mean my thing is why would you complain when you don't have a horse in the race how can you expect to win when you didn't even place a bet um, some will say they have no children so they can criticize who they want and I say to that do you have cousins sisters brothers nieces or nephews and are their fathers involved in their lives if not are you involved if so, you can complain, but how does anyone have the gall to complain about the parent that is present and only the parent that is present? If the absent parent was present, the child properly would not need you. Um, that's something that needs to be considered. To the men that have no nieces, nephews, children, etc. I repeat, you don't have a horse in the race. If you are not contributing to a child's life in a positive manner, a child that lacks a parent, a child that lacks period, your opinion has no merit. I'm sorry. Your opinion is just that, your opinion. Um, I feel it, it may be a self-serving opinion, not one of concern. And I'll go as far as to say people who fit the description are turning it more into a gender battle. If it's really about the children, you would be helping the children instead of bashing the women raising them. People, is it really about the children? Um, I don't believe the black women bashers care much about the children. I just don't believe that's their concern gathering all that I have. You know, I've come to this conclusion. A lot of men on the internet are simply expressing their prejudice towards black women. The discussion of black women and bad parenting is used as ammo and it's more about bringing attention to the negative to make it more popular than the positive so that their personal prejudices can be justified. Statistically, black women are the most educated within the black race. How is that? How are they the most educated within the black race, but they're all failures at raising children? Um, I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm just saying the stereotype of black women is so contradicting. I wonder if anyone stops to analyze it and conclude it's simply bullshit. Okay? You know, we don't match, we don't fit, we don't always agree because we are individuals, the same as any other race. You know, we want all people to treat us equally when we behave as if we are in equivalent. It makes no sense to me. Sorry. We behave differently from one another and disagree because we are individuals, but also understand any burden I bear for black skin, you will bear 
too for your black skin. We were born by way of womb. We will all leave here dissolving to dust. That's a fact, okay? Um, if it's really about the children, maintain it being about the children. Lose your egos and accept your responsibility, okay? Accept the fact that the male role in family is important. There is also a responsibility there accept that i mean how do you contribute to the issue if black women choose horrible fathers that are irresponsible who fathered these women they may simply um be choosing what they know they're i mean they're guessing you know because they don't know what the right man is okay so to speak um some women see black men as a temporary thing because they never witnessed it to be permanent growing up but obviously a need is there if they go from man to man just to be near a black man there is a desperate need there obviously black men are needed I find that black men that don't bash black women and they support black women, regardless of the flaws of a few, they normally have love and respect for their mothers. Um, they also most times see their mothers in a positive light. Don't take this personal, but a lot of bashers who are prejudiced towards black women did not have a good experience with their mothers growing up, you know, and blaming all black women for your mother's flaws will not reverse your childhood. Your mother is the issue in your life, okay? She is the issue, not all black women. That's her cross to bear, as well as your father, because he played a part in it. You have to consider that loving someone is not leaving someone. Loving someone is not leaving someone in a unstable, bad environment. And if your father did that to you, he has to also be held accountable. You know, I feel like, you know, it's, it's like this. Two plus X equals five, but is X irrelevant simply because no number is there? Simply because you don't know what that number is. X is relevant and will always be. Two alone does not equal five. The missing number is just that, missing. It doesn't mean it isn't important. So... I'm basically saying, if you blame a woman for not raising her child properly, you also have to blame the father that left the child in that environment, that left that child in that situation. Him deciding he didn't want to be there does not justify him leaving his legacy behind I don't care how prejudiced you are towards a certain group of women this does not change facts it does not change the responsibility of a child's father there isn't a issue with black women I feel people need to change their mind their way of thinking because i mean really open your eyes think outside of the box there isn't a issue with black women there is a issue with black family if more examples are set more people will try to meet it simply because everyone wants to fit in be normal you know one by one we could all set the standard but don't sit around and whine about a 
cut someone else has if you won't even offer a fucking band-aid okay that's just how i feel you know for black women that bash simply to separate themselves from the stereotype um hoping to receive acceptance from these bashers i'm going to say this kissing ass only takes you so far sweetie black women are stereotyped mostly because of skin not behavior um alone whether or not you behave this way you are judged based upon your physical appearance to behave in a particular manner you will never be excluded completely you shouldn't have to prove this by constantly having to proclaim i'm quote unquote not like that like it's ridiculous why aren't you outraged that people are putting a stamp on who you are just realize that ignorance is ignorance and being a part of the race you ignorantly judge does not contribute to you being excluded from being ignorant you're just as ignorant as the women you try to separate yourself from and it's just like a whole bunch of kissing asses going on to prove yourself and what have you and i and i feel like you know people should judge you based upon who you are and that's what you should demand instead of trying to proclaim and profess to everyone that I'm not like that. That's not going to make people who believe in stereotypes anyway separate you from it. Because as long as you fit the description, you will be in the box. So bitch about the box. Don't bitch about being thrown within the group. Bitch about there being a group. I feel we should let go all of this bullshit and just live. I feel the black community should stop being so damn self-absorbed that you don't notice flaws in other races of people. Don't allow yourselves to be so distracted within your own race. Then you will see people everywhere are fuck-ups. I mean, don't allow anything or anyone to make you feel your race is full of super hostile dysfunctional things all races have hostile dysfunctional things and just and just as much please open your mind and like research other people and how they live this is a fucked up world and it's not because of any particular race Everyone, every race plays their part. Basing it solely upon skin simplifies it. It makes a monster a puppy. And that is, that's unrealistic. I don't know about you, but I'm going to live with my black skin and all. I don't care if people compare me to a stereotype or not. You know, Opinions are not my life source. I am perfect when I am me. I am the standard of who me is. I have the capacity to be my best. So do you. This isn't court where women are the defendant and men. This is life. People get a clue, please. Some men can't tolerate rejections from women because their mothers rejected them. Some women are promiscuous because, you know, they're looking for that male love and they pay for it by way of sex. I said some. Either way, accept your truth, heal, and stop blaming the whole damn world for a wound someone irresponsible in your life created only the creator of the disease can doctor it wallowing in pity is like wallowing in quicksand okay i really don't give a damn much about 
all of the people that are trying to um, put their burdens off on others simply because they are not addressing the people in their lives that cause the hurt in their heart is silly i don't give a damn if you're a man if you're a woman everybody's playing the blame game go back open your closet and look at the skeletons and you know if i'm not in there don't fucking generalize me i'm a black woman okay go back in your closet and look at your skeletons if the skeleton consists of your mother's bone that's where you need to go to fix what you are dealing with and stop blaming all black women for the shit your mother did. And you also have to consider what happened to your mother to put her through whatever she went through that caused her not to be just to call that cause her to not do right by you or to make the best decisions and as a grown ass person it's your responsibility to heal we ain't falling off bites no more you ain't got mommy uh, coming to brush off the wound you a grown ass person and if you hurt you need to go somewhere and doctor that shit and see where it's coming from. That's what you do if you want to live and have life with quality and stop trying to blame other people. Stop trying to blame black women because they got the same skin as your mother because they have things in common with her, being female and being black. Same thing if the men are blaming their fathers, it applies the same. If women are blaming their fathers and they're bashing men, oh, same thing applies. I'm just saying... I see a lot of shit on here about black women this, black women that, and majority of the time, the men aren't happy with their situation they had as children with their parents. Majority of these men bashing women, they weren't happy with their situation um, as children involving their mothers. I say go, if your mother is still living, go talk to her. And work it out and stop blaming the world for your fucking problems because the world was not there. And if your mother is not living, go see someone that get, gets paid to listen to what you have to say to help you fix your issues. Because I don't see the sense in spreading this, this disease online to a bunch of younger males that aren't really experienced with life enough to fully understand where all of your shit is coming from and so it's like a disease and you're giving it to them and you're fucking manipulating their way way of thinking when your mother simply neglected you and you're mad about it but like they say misery loves company um Leave your comments, rates, hell, if you don't want to, don't. I, I really don't give a damn. This is just me chiming in on the shit that I see. And, you know, these aren't issues I deal with day to day. So, you know, it is what it is. Anywho, bye.